Hello, my beautiful Aries souls, and welcome to your Leo season energy and prediction reading. Uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. It's the Empress, aka Kelsey, and in today's video, we are looking at what you can expect from Leo season. So let's talk a little bit about the energies of this season before we get into your cards, Aries. Starting off, Leo season is um, from July 22nd to August 22nd, okay? And <clears throat> there are a few kind of astrological energies that are going to be playing a role in the energy of the season for us. Starting off, we have the new moon in Leo on July 28th. <clears throat> And on that same day, on July 28th, Jupiter is going retrograde um, in the sign of Aries, so in your sign. So there is going to be a huge shift for you guys, and, and Jupiter retrograde will remain retrograde, or <laughs> Jupiter will remain retrograde until November 23rd. Um, and then we have Lamas on August 1st. We have Mercury moving into Virgo on August 4th. We have the full moon in Aquarius on August 11th and Venus moving into the beautiful sign of Leo on August 11th as well. And then we have Aries moving into Gemini on August 20th. So there's a lot of energetic shift and a lot of this shifting that's happening I really feel is going to impact um, a lot of the fire signs in a very intense way because there is so much action occurring in the fire signs. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. We are in Leo season so we have this new moon in Leo and this overall Leo energy. And then you guys being the sign of Aries with Jupiter going retrograde in your sign and um, Aries moving into Gemini and out of its own sign. There's just a lot of shifts, a lot of, I feel a lot of activations and maybe even a lot of kind of intensity for you guys going on through this season. Uh, but let's go ahead and begin your reading here, my beautiful Aries souls. Starting off, let's pull a message for the overall energy of this season for my Aries souls. Overall energy of Leo season for Aries souls. We have you are not broken. I love that. Um, so Aries, I feel like Leo season is going to be bringing a lot of enlightenment to you. It's going to be showing you a lot of things in a new perspective, in a new light, in a way where you are able to it's almost like in a way where you're able to process things in a much different way. Um, instead of focusing on what hurts, instead of focusing on the pain, instead of focusing on what you don't have, on what you want but maybe can't have or what you wish you could go back to or what you're having a hard time creating, you are coming into this perception of... <clears throat> Seeing things more as a lesson instead of just seeing the pain. It's almost like whatever it is for you, Aries, some of you guys may have been very hyper-focused on a very specific painful time in your life or a painful experience, but it's like whatever it is, your, your vision, your perception is expanding to allow yourself to see more than just the pain, which is going to allow you to kind of understand an underlying message, an underlying lesson within that pain. Um, interesting. So you are not broken, Aries. You are not broken. Um, and that's an energy to take with you through this entire season. Let's pull some more cards for my beautiful Aries souls. And get some more energy of this Leo season, the overall Leo season for Aries. We have House 6 coming out, establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. So a lot of you guys here, Aries, there may be a new focus coming in on your physical body, on your physical health. You may be beginning new physical health routines, um, or that may be kind of where your focus goes at through this Leo season, is really focusing on what you're eating, focusing on healing the body instead of just kind of accepting that there's 
physical pain or things that are wrong with you. So some of you guys, Aries, this this you are not broken energy is more about your physical health and, and not allowing yourself to just accept a diagnosis or to accept that this pain is just going to be here no matter what I do, but trying to find new practical ways to manage or heal those things. Um, and of course, you know, I'm not a medical professional or anything like that. So definitely don't... Don't do anything without, like, your doctor's consent or anything like that. That could potentially, you know, cause damage to your health or more damage to your health. But there is definitely something here about having a focus on your physical health as well through Leo season. Really being very mindful of what you're eating, of exercising, of instilling new healthy habits within your daily life, Aries. We also have Mars. Move forward and defend self. Yes, yeah, so you guys are definitely going to be really focusing on creating a space for you, creating a life for you through this Leo season that almost like takes you out of harm's way whatever that means for you. So a lot of you guys may be defending yourself in regards to your work and not allowing yourself to overwork or overexert yourself, not allowing yourself to be put in positions where there's potential harm or damage, um, maybe separating yourself from certain environments that create temptation. There's just something here where you guys are really becoming very protective of your physical body and of your health and of your heart for some of you guys as well, which is beautiful. Let's see what else we have for the overall energy of Leo season for Aries. We have, oh my gosh, look at health. And this is the sun in Virgo here, which we have Virgo energy with house six. Virgo rules over house six or is the energy of house six. Um, wow. So yeah, physical healing, health, energies very loudly as well as for some of you guys, um, like emotional health coming into play as well or maybe even recognizing how your emotional health impacts your physical body. And then we have revenge. Wow. And there's that emotional health. There's the, the Mars and Scorpio. Um, and we have Mars here. Wow, how synchronistic for Aries. So there's a huge emphasis here on not allowing your mind or your heart to, to take you into places that there is potential for almost de uh, destructive consequences. Okay, defend self. There's defend self, but don't defend yourself in a way where you need to reciprocate the same actions that may be trying to be done to you. So some of you guys, there may be somebody out there through Leo season that is maybe very envious or maybe even like sending like the evil eye or trying to uh, kind of trying to get up in your business in some way, shape or form, either jealousy or envy or trying to take revenge for, for some reason. Um, and, and there's a need to defend yourself from this, but there's also like this need to be very mindful of not allowing yourself to get into that headspace. Um, especially those of you here, Aries that have dealt with like, uh, cheating partner, romantic partner or spouse or anything like that, because that is something that's coming up here with the emotional health energy as well. Like, uh, you know, maybe your heart was broken because your partner cheated on you or there was a third party situation or something along those lines. And there is really a need to not act out of spite, bitterness, anger, vengefulness in regards to that. Um, really try not to put your energy into paying somebody back in a destructive way. Okay, let's pull another card, Aries, and see what else we have coming up for you. We have the loving woman. Wow. So the number six, we have house six. This is 
the sixth house as well has the number six up here. This is the number six. And then we have the number eight here. Um, so those numbers may be very significant or like August 6th or the 6th um, and may be hold some significance for you that the numbers 8 and 6 are quite loud here um, through Leo season for you guys. But with this, the loving woman here, group, I almost said group number one, I'm sorry, Aries, there is this energy of healing your own feminine energy which would be kind of your emotional health and things like that. But also those of you that are able to maintain this kind of higher vibrational healing mindset and perspective through Leo season, you're going to be coming into contact with somebody that is going to be very close to your heart. Um, or maybe you're going, it could be reconciliation um, for some of you guys, depending on the situation, but there's definitely like some love coming in for you through Leo season. Um, whether it be romantic or not is kind of irrelevant. Um, it's not really coming through in any specific way. So some of you guys, it could definitely be like a new, very solid relationship, especially with this Virgo energy here, very solid, very stable kind of relationship that you're going to be building upon. This could be like a future like marital spouse for some of you guys. This could be a friend or there's just somebody coming into your life that's going to be there for an extended amount of time like longevity coming in here in some way shape or form for Aries. So something coming into your life through Leo season that's coming in to stay. Okay. Um, let's pull... A chakra energy for you guys that's going to be kind of a focal point I feel um, that's kind of the intention with these cards through Leo season is like the energy that you really need to embody um, through Leo season to help you navigate these energies and then we'll get into your tarot Wow, we have intelligence here coming out. Um, so this here is education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. And like I said here in the beginning, there's something here where there is like a, an underlying lesson, an underlying message beneath the pain, beneath the anger, beneath the bitterness, beneath the resentment that may be kind of arising for you guys through this season. And you guys are really kind of bringing that lesson in and together and into an understanding through this season. So I really feel for you guys, Aries, that the third eye and the crown chakra are going to be of great significance. Um, the third eye is really going to be very active and really going to help you see how to move forward here um, in a productive way. But then we have the crown chakra where you guys are going to be absorbing a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, a lot of messages that are really going to kind of show you what is in your greatest good and where maybe you need to let go a little bit or change. We have education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. So your perception of the pain is changing. You're collecting lessons, gaining knowledge, and there is this energy of really needing to be a little bit more flexible, really being very mindful of getting very rigid through Leo season and needing like control over the way that things happen. Um, because that's how we fall into this kind of revenge energy, I feel, for Aries. So let's go ahead and get into some tarot. <clears throat> and we're going to look at your spiritual energy through Leo season, your physical energy, like your physical body, but also your physical environment. And we're going to look at your relationships and your abundance through Leo season. So let's... Okay, our first card out, we have the Ten of Swords, okay. So Aries, I, again, there's, there is an ending to something coming in here. Um, there's an ending to something feeling broken. So some of you guys, this could come through in a way where 
you well, this is coming out in your spiritual energy through leo season so what i really feel here is that there's an ending in this energy of feeling separated from spirit or feeling separated from everything um i feel like aries you guys have gone through a period where you felt very maybe alone um but very separate from the things that you wanted or very separate from a specific person or very separate from spirit, very separate from your faith, Aries. Um, and that period is closing. And again, there's like a mending. There's like a coming back together, coming into wholeness here for Aries through Leo season. So a very difficult, a very painful um, kind of season is ending for Aries, especially spiritually. So you guys may have got, been going through a dark night of the soul. You may have been going through a lot of very difficult shadow work, um, dealing with certain anger issues or mental health issues that is all coming to a close um, for you guys. And you're going to become much more connected spiritually. Again, the third eye and the crown chakra coming in very strong for, for Aries. You're going to be becoming much more connected to your intuition and to your guides and to the universe or God, spirit, whatever it is that you believe in, much more connected, feeling a lot less separate, a lot less fractured. Um, we then have the Six of Cups coming out in your physical energy, Aries, and... This is telling me that you guys are overcoming your past. You're you're overcoming this whatever was broken. Um, a broken heart specifically is something that's coming in very strong for Aries. Overcoming a broken heart, but also overcoming physical ailments or illness. But with the cups here, this is like overcoming past emotional pain that maybe you've been holding on to and using as kind of a form of protection. And you guys are learning that now you can defend yourself, you can protect yourself, you can move forward in a new way without feeling like you have to use that pain as that shield. So you guys are, are being able to see a new way forward, a new future, instead of only seeing the same negative things reoccurring, like only seeing the red flags, only seeing the parts of your life that lead to the same pain you've already experienced. You're beginning to see outside of that spectrum, Aries, which is beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look at your relationships. Some of you guys may be moving away from your childhood home or town, uh, moving away from a place that was very familiar or from moving away from a place where certain emotional pain was inflicted. Um, we have the page of wands coming out here in your relationships. And this is again, really leading me to believe that you guys are kind of expanding your horizons in regards to your relationships. You're, you're looking outside of the box. You're looking outside of your comfort zone. You're looking outside of It's almost like you're looking outside of like this box that you've put yourself in in regards to what a relationship is, what it feels like, how you're supposed to act, what you're supposed to do. And a lot of you guys, somebody very attractive is coming in, somebody with a very almost sexual energy coming in through Leo season, I feel. Somebody that you're going to be very sexually attracted to. Um, or for some of you guys, maybe that energy is coming back into your your energy field as you heal this emotional pain that may be something that you kind of experience coming back to life within you is your own sexual energy but there is like this definite energy of meeting somebody or somebody very significant coming into your life and for a lot of you guys it is going to be a romantic partner or there is going to be like a romantic spark ignited in some way shape or form even if it's with an existing partner there is a healing in this relationship that is um that you are in so regardless of your situation this can still apply to you just take what resonates and leave what doesn't let's take a look at your abundance through leo season Wow, we have the King of Wands feeling very empowered. 
feeling very abundant, feeling very creative as well. But I also feel for you guys that maybe you guys are coming into like this boss status through Leo season, especially in regards to your abundance, your resources, your time, your energy, being very in control and very on top of your finances, your career. Um, some of you guys may even be getting like a promotion or... Um, being seen, like recognized in some way, shape or form, especially through Leo season um, within your job or your career, your resources. Some of you guys getting a raise, a promotion, um, climbing that kind of ladder for sure. There's definitely achievements being made in regards to resources, finances, your abundance through Leo season as well. So, so many beautiful things happening, but really, I really feel for Aries here that you guys are healing and mending spiritually and emotionally, and that is kind of being reflected through your physical health um, and, and through your physical finances as well. So, a lot of healing taking place and, and that healing is really kind of creating a ripple effect into your physical reality. Um, and for a lot of you guys meeting, reconciling, or healing in some sort of relationship. Um, some of you guys, you know, if you've been with somebody and maybe the spark has been depleted or been out for a period of time that may be reigniting um, the sexuality, the passion may be coming back into your life. Um, and for those of you that have been single or looking for somebody or maybe not even looking for somebody, but maybe focusing on your, your healing, your healing is kind of reigniting that spark and that desire within you to connect romantically to somebody else. Um, and then the subconscious energy here, we have the world for Leo season. And Aries, this is talking about ending a chapter, ending a very significant period within your life and stepping. Again, it's like climbing the ladder. So Aries, you guys are climbing the ladder through Leo season. Like you are taking it to the next level. You're taking that next step. You're stepping out of what has always been for you, which is absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead here, Aries, and pull you one final message for Leo season. Any last guidance, advice, or anything else you need to know in regards to Leo season for my beautiful Aries souls. We have, <laughs> don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. So um, don't be afraid of letting go of the pain. Okay, stop trying to fight for something that is only causing pain. So there's a lot of transmutation of pain for Aries through Leo season, a lot of letting go, a lot of recognition in regards to how your pain is impacting you and how you may be holding on to that pain in some way, shape, or form, whether it's holding on to somebody or something or an idea or whatever it is for you that you've been holding on to, there is a definite, a definite release of letting go of someone or something that has hurt you, Aries. Um, big, big message here, though, kind of warning is to just be very mindful of your reactions. Be very mindful of kind of stooping to the level of vengefulness or spite or bitterness or doing things out of anger in regards to somebody who may have hurt you. Um, so Aries, you are being asked to be the bigger person here in some way, shape, or form as well. But this is what I'm seeing for Leo season for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know uh, what you thought of this. Come back later. Let me know how your, your Leo season was. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!